how to YouTube. If you guys watch many videos in the van scene and know anything about it, you'll know the two top questions are how do you poop and how do you shower. I'm going to show you both this morning. This is a pretty cool little morning spot. Actually parked right in behind a trailer. And then behind me there's another pickup truck. And across the way there's some other cars parked over there by this gas station up ahead. Now that gas station has got a restroom. And it's a crapshoot with a place like this because there's already a lot of traffic going through here. It might be clean. They could do a good job. Or it might be disgusting in there. I don't like being in that situation, so let me show you what I'm going to do. I've got my bucket. I've got my kitty litter. I've got my toilet paper. I got these, which I'll show you in a minute. And I've got my trusty little miniature scented bags. So what I'm going to show you today, guys, is how to poop in the van. You'll notice this bucket has a screw-on lid. The thing I like about this is it's got a rubber seal on it, which is really going to keep the odor in. So what I do is I keep a trash bag in here, a larger trash bag. This is a five gallon bucket, so I would say this is at least like a six gallon or eight gallon bag that I have in here. And then what I do, set the lid aside, and then inside I put another bag, one of these scented bags. Now what some people will say here is I would never poop in my van, that's disgusting. I prepare my food in there, I would never do that. Well let me remind you guys, would you rather sit down on this? Or would you rather sit down on this right here? And this has a decent rim on it. You know they make those lids that are like the style of a toilet seat that you can put on top. This is wide enough to be comfortable. This isn't sharp like a regular bucket edge would be. So for me, this is okay just to squat down on it for a, about a minute or two. It doesn't take long. So I put that bag inside like that. Now I keep this white bag. This is just always out here just in case this interior bag ruptures. And I'll show you what I do with this smaller bag once I put my business in here. Then I'm going to dump about a cup or two of some kitty litter in here. And now is an important step. You'll notice I put this right under my roof vent. It's already open, so I'm just going to crank this on and then sit down here and do my business. All right, guys, so I made my deposit here, cleaned myself with some good old toilet paper. It's all in here. Just tie it off. Normally, I would still have the roof vent running for a couple minutes after I did this, but you wouldn't be able to hear me with it on. I'm just going to put the lid back on, seal her down tight, and I got all my stuff here to wash my hands. With the lid's on, the fan would still be on getting any odor out. It doesn't smell in here. You know, with the fan on, it just blows straight out. Um, I've got this thing adjusted to blow out, of course. So that's it. I'll leave that in there until I'm by a trash can where I can get rid of it. And I don't just put it in trash cans. I put it in a dumpster or in somewhere uh, where people aren't really going to be having to mess with it. And a dumpster is just going to be dumped into the back of a truck. People may say, oh my gosh, that's gross and all this. Well, what do you do with your dog poop when you take your dog for a walk, you know? Hopefully you pick it up and put it in the trash. What do you do with, you know, baby diapers? So this just goes to the same place, guys. It may not be the most perfect ideal way to do it, but it works. So to the critics of this, I say, you know, everybody's got their own prerogative and their own way of doing things. Uh, but if you're saying, oh, that's nasty, I would never do that. Well, that's okay, you know, but me personally, I like self-reliance. I don't like having to uh, rely on other places. And this gives me a good option in those situations. The two things that people worry the most about, about living in vans, pooping and showering. I'm going to show you how I may not have a shower, I may not have a toilet, but I can do both. I can bathe myself reasonably okay to get by for a couple days, and I can obviously poop in the van, so, you know, this takes care of that, and that's 
the only difference between an RV that you could go out and spend, gosh, $100,000 at least on or even more for a Class A or Class C or even B or whatever to be able to have a shower and toilet, I don't think I really need it. Okay guys, this is something that's the best friend of people in the van, handy wipes. These are a little soapier than the ones I would like. I like the ones that are a little drier, but I got these from Costco. Basically what I'm gonna do with this, I take this, wipe it on my armpits, wipe it on some uh, more sensitive regions. You guys know which parts you wash when you take one of those super quick showers and don't get everywhere. Well, that's what I'm doing now. And I'm doing this because I'm like, you know, I'm four or five miles from a gym that I can shower at. I'm close to my work and in about four or five miles in both directions from my work is where the two gyms are. So it doesn't really, I don't really want to drive that far and spend, gosh, that would be a couple bucks of fuel just to be able to go take a shower when I can take a bath right here. And I know that tomorrow I'm going to be right next to one of those gyms. So that was that part. Now I'm just going to clear off my sink area. I've got my multi-purpose soap here. Now basically I've got my soap, I've got my sink, and you guys could do this with, I guess, a bucket. And uh, you know, I've even seen folks use like uh, the drainage pans that you use from when you change your oil in your car or truck. I love having a sink. To me, the sink is the most important thing. It makes it feel like you're really in civilization. I got a real fancy one. I got the best pump. I got a really nice stainless steel counter and I got a pretty nice sink, but you can get a sink from Habitat for Humanity and you can get a less expensive pump. So this is real simple folks, just like bathing anywhere. Turn the water on, get your hair wet. Some soap. And then just rinse it off. That's all there is to it. And I like to take this hand towel that I have and just clean up my sink area. It's a good opportunity when it's wet for my shower just to make it all nice and shiny. And my towel, I just hang on this guy. I've got this rail thing along here. I just hang it. And then like my gym clothes when they're wet after the gym, I just hang them up there. So that gives me everything I need in the van, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more videos about stealth camping and eventually traveling and all kinds of other fun stuff. See you next time, YouTube.